So now we're going to do acoustic reflux thresholds or ART. Um, this can be done ipsilaterally or contralaterally. So ipsilaterally, this means the probe and the stimulus are being presented in the same ear versus contralaterally, which is when they're being presented and measured in opposite ears. Um, this testing uh, uh, provides information regarding more of the system and you'll learn about the pathway in some of your classes. So this is how you switch to reflexes. You're going to hit the reflex button and it'll take you right there. So now you can see this is where you can change the stimulus being presented, where you can do 500 hertz, 1000 hertz, and 2000 hertz. And then you can also present, um, change the presentation level, which right now it's set at 85, but we would probably start around 75-ish. Um, and then here again, you can change the ears, right or left, and that would also be changed on the same machine that was used for tympanometry. So right now, this is only set up for ipsilateral. To do contralateral, you would need to put this extra probe tip in, right here. And you can choose the bigger ones, which you'll mostly be using. All right. Before we start, you want to give your client some instructions again. So this would go something similar to this. Um, and now we're going to do some uh, similar tests. This time you might hear some loud sounds um, coming from either the left or the right ear. Uh, all I need you to do is just sit there and relax and try not to move your head. Right now we're going to set up for right ipsilateral and left contralateral because it is easy to set them up at the same time. So again, we're going to place the machine on the client's shoulders, insert the probe tip into the client's right ear for right ipsilateral, and then because we need to have the stimulus being presented in the other ear to do contralateral, we're going to do a left contralateral and put the probe tip into the left ear. And then you're all set to get started. Now that your client is all set up, you're going to come over here and make sure that you have the stimulus and level that you want to present. So right now we're going to be presenting at 500 hertz at 75 dBHL. So to start, you're going to want to start the pressure by hitting the start. And now that it's all pressured, we are going to hit present to sh present the sound. And as you can see at 75 dBHL, Sarah does not have a response. We are looking for a response of 0 0.02. So now we're gonna go up 5 dB to 80 and present again. And Sarah does have a response here with 0 0.03, but what we wanna be seeing is a growth pattern. So we're gonna test one more time at 85. And there we have it. So Sarah's response is at 80, ipsilaterally at 500 hertz. To do contralateral testing, you're going to come down here to the stimulation ear, and you're going to just hit it, and it'll switch over to contralateral. As you can see, it also saved the responses from your other test. Okay, so now that we have switched it over to the contralateral ear side, we are going to make sure that we're starting at an appropriate level that we want. And we're going to hit start again to get the pressure going. And then present. As you can see, that is not a response. So we're going to go again. No response there. You can also increase the levels down here using the intensity and the stimulus settings. Okay. 
As you can see, Sarah has a response at 95 dBHL at 0 0.021. So we're going to again look for the growth pattern. So we're going to test at 100. And there you see the growth. So Sarah's response level is at 95. For acoustic reflux testing, you're going to want to make sure that you do the stimulus levels at 500, 1000, and 2000 hertz, along with 4000 